Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Um, one of the things that I learned from the uh, old timers uh, when I was growing up is that every tree and plant out in the woods had a purpose, sometimes multiple purposes. And uh, learning those uh, things is kind of the basis of my uh, wood lore that I know um, from uh, growing up, um, growing up in areas like this. Of course, there was a lot more woods back then than there is now. A lot of it's been cut down, but uh, one of the beneficial um, trees or shrubs um, that grows here in Michigan and a lot of places in the eastern United States is uh, sumac or um, staghorn sumac, I believe is the other name for it, uh, but everybody around here just calls it sumac. And uh, this isn't the poison sumac that you think of. Um, this is just the regular sumac that's perfectly safe to use and it does have a medicinal purpose which I also did a video on um, years ago I'll put a link in the description for that video as uh, well but I'm out here today with my hand tools and a pail and I'm going to collect some of this uh, sumac wood that the uh, road commission was nice enough to knock down a couple of years ago so it's good and dry and uh, I don't like taking live wood if I don't have to so any resource that you can find that's already down and already easy to get um, that's the first thing that you want to exploit in any survival situation so I'm going to take my hand tools here and I'm going to um go along here and collect some of this uh, dead dead dry sumac and uh, get it in my pail, get it up to my truck, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit uh, what the old timers would use this for. Anyway, you guys stick around. And this is what the uh, live sumac looks like. It's just kind of a gnarled, twisted uh, tree. It isn't very large in diameter usually, and it doesn't get very high. It gets maybe... I'd say around here, probably 12 at maximum to 14 feet high, but usually it's about seven, eight foot high with like this one is right here. Anyway, we're gonna go look for some uh, dead stuff so we can uh, collect it. And here's some uh, good examples of what the road commission knocked down. You can kind of see in there how it's all twisted and gnarled. That's uh, that's the down sumac. There's more right in front of me here where they, uh, where they knocked this down a couple of years back. It's uh, good and dry, perfect for what I want to use it for. But uh, we're going to get back in here now with uh, my handsaw and we're going to get a few pieces cut up and get it in my bucket. All right, guys, I collected some now, got some back up here to the truck, and I'm starting to uh, split it up now. What the old timers used um, the dry sumac for is uh, because dried sumac burns very, very hot and very, very quickly. So they would use that to supplement marginal wood that wasn't really the best firewood. So if you had something that was either wet or something that was still a little bit green, or you had a big piece of oak or something that didn't want to burn real well, you would put a couple pieces of that dry sumac in your wood stove along that other marginal wood. Because the old timers used everything. It didn't matter whether it was marginal wood or, um, you know, they used the best stuff, but they also used the stuff that wasn't so good and that sumac was one of the tricks that they used to ignite that um, less than perfect wood in their wood stove now sumac isn't good for uh, campfires and outdoor fire pits because it'll crack and pop and snap and uh, throw embers all over the place but inside a wood stove it's really really good it'll help ignite that um, more marginal wood stuff that you wouldn't be able to burn unless your stove was red red hot so if you're starting a fire and you only had crappy wood to begin with but you had a little bit of this sumac you could get a fire going and sumac one of the things when you split it up you can tell right away it's got a twisted gnarled grain and it's uh very yellow it's a very yellow wood so um that's how you can tell when you got it uh, cut up but like i showed you the um 
the dead stuff that was laying there on the ground. It's very twisted. It's very corkscrew type uh, type looking. But when you cut it in small pieces like this and get it in an old pail, it's uh, pretty easy to just split up with a regular hatchet. And uh, if you got a little bit of this beside your kindling pail and your fatwood pail, boy, you got a real... Um, a real solid trio there to get a fire going, even if you got kind of marginal fuel. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there just sharing another little old wood lore uh, tip with you guys. Um, if you happen to have uh, just plain uh, staghorn sumac in your area, you can, uh, you can utilize that uh, for another purpose. But anyway, you guys have a good one.